David when I was 17. Fell for him straight away. We met, believe it or not, on a Beach Boys concert, met on a blind date. And um, he was just lovely, full of fun. He was an amazing father, an amazing husband, and I loved him to bits. David started as an apprentice electrician when he was 15. In those days, you were allowed to leave school at 15. And he um, loved his job, really enjoyed it very much. But from the age of 15 to 29, he was exposed to vast quantities of asbestos. In January 2008, David had to go to our doctor, our GP, for a regular checkup. And then the next thing, I had a text off my son to say, Mum, you need to go to Withenshaw A&E. David had been told to admit himself because our GP had found that his lungs were filling with fluid. So he'd gone there and he'd seen a doctor at A&E. And as soon as he saw David, he asked him, have you been in contact with asbestos? And from that moment, we just knew um, that Dave was seriously ill. The consultants basically said there was absolutely no hope of being able to do anything for David and he died in the early hours of the Saturday. When Dave got sick in the October, we were advised by the Greater Manchester Asbestos Support Group to seek the support of a solicitor. And that's when we sought the support of Slater and Gordon. I rang them, told them very briefly what was going on, and they said that they would put one of their solicitors in touch with us, which is exactly what they did. Um, the solicitor that we were, we was appointed to our case um, was able to come down and see David in the December to actually interview David face to face. Um, now that's very important in these cases that um, the, the person who is going to die actually gives a live testament. Um, I can remember Dave doing it with the solicitor at the time who was wonderful with him, absolutely wonderful with both of us, very kind. And from then on, Slater and Gordons were just with us every step of the way. We had David's inquest at Stockport Coroner's Court. I mean, I was just hopeless and the witness box just fell apart completely. But the solicitor that had been appointed to us was there. We didn't know he was going to be there, but he was there. And he spoke up on another massive turning point in the whole case because the coroner was able to rule because of his evidence that David died of an asbestos-related disease. And that is a massive turning point on which the whole case can then go forward with. So they were just, they were amazing. In October 2012, quite out of the blue, just happened to open mail one day and there was a cheque there for £50,000 as part payment of the final settlement. From that moment, October 2012, when that cheque arrived, we knew that we were going to win the case. But it was because the solicitors had stuck at it. Although this was about money in some ways, because it's assured my future, it wasn't about money, it was about justice for David's death and making sure that employers protect their employees in the way that health and safety regulation is there to do. And they hadn't done that. There'd been a law passed the year before he started employment with them, where they should have gowned him and put masks on him, and they didn't do any of that. And if they had done that, it might have saved him. I'm extremely grateful to Slater and Gordon because it, it, you can't put into words what this means to you. They fulfilled my husband's dying wish. I'm just absolutely thankful that we went forward with Slater and Gordon and got the case settled. Um, I'm really, really grateful for the help, every single bit of help that they gave us.